Hello guys, I am Shamant Goda, CSAT faculty at Insights IAS. I welcome you once again for the CSAT question series, which is CSAT Chakravyu. This question was asked in the last video. I will explain this question in this video in detail. The speed of the boat in still water is 4 kilometers per hour, while its speed against the current is 2 kilometers per hour. Okay, look here now. Let us say there is a lake. What is the speed of the water in the lake? 0. Let us consider the water speed is 0. If the speed of the water is 0, if I am rowing a boat here, the boat can row in this direction or in this direction or any direction without any resistance, it can row in this direction or else in this direction. Okay? So, the speed of the boat, the speed of the boat in still water is u, u is equal to speed of boat in still water, where w is the speed of the water. Now, same boat if has to row in a river, river always flows from up to down okay? and the speed of the river is let us say w here which is not equal to 0 because this is not a lake, this is a river, the water flows downwards. Similarly, here the speed of the whatever boat was in the still water. Now, the same boat if it wants to travel from this point to this point, from this point to this point. For example, if the speed of water is equal to 60 kilometers per hour and the speed of the boat is 40 kilometers per hour, speed of the boat is 40, 40 kilometers per hour in the still water. If the water is coming down at 60 kilometers per hour and the boat is trying to travel at 40 kilometers per hour, this resistance, this resistance of water will be greater than the force of the force of the boat. Okay? Hence, boat cannot travel upwards here from this to this. Hence, the boat to travel from this point to this point upwards, always the speed of the boat has to be greater than the speed of the water. Okay? Speed of the boat has to be greater than the speed of the water, then only it can move up. While moving up, okay, if the force is, let us say, let us say, if the speed of water is 40 and the speed of the boat is 60 kilometers per hour, okay, speed of water is 40 and the speed of the boat is 60 kilometers per hour. If this is traveling at 40 kilometers per hour and you are putting a force of 60 kilometers per hour means there is a resistance of already 40, okay. Already if there is a 40 kilometers per hour, here, here the speed will cut down and the boat can travel from this point to this point at 20 kilometers per hour. Okay, that is for example, 20 kilometers per hour. Since always while going up, the speed of the boat and the speed of the water will cut down. While coming down, the speed of the boat and the speed of the water will add up. Like a gravity, okay, if you are jumping upwards, okay, it will force resistance of the, the gravity. If you are coming down, then it will attract. Okay, hence, this is u plus w. Okay. Now, according to the question, the speed of the boat in still water, okay, still water speed of the boat, which is given as what here? U. This is U. While its speed against the current is 2 kilometers per hour, which is nothing but U minus W given 2 kilometers per hour, where U is 4 kilometers per hour and U minus W is 2 kilometers per hour, means if I put U4 here, W has to be 2 to make it 2 kilometers per hour. So, the answer is what here? 2 kilometers per hour. Okay? Make this option correct. This is not 2.5. This is 2 kilometers per hour. And this is the homework question guys. Try to answer this question. I will explain this question in the next video. Thank you. Keep watching.